Today we're going to be looking at how to sync and copy music from your Mac to any Apple device. And we're going to be doing that with the uh, music application on Mac OS Catalina, as well as the Finder as shown right here. Reason why this is an important tutorial is because as you probably have learned with Catalina, there is no longer an iTunes app and things have been split up. So it can be a little confusing at first, but you'll see that it's pretty straightforward and it should only take a couple of minutes to be able to understand this and to do it yourself. So first we're going to see that here on the upper right hand corner is the list here, an album that we're going to be syncing and copying to uh, the iPad that is already connected via the lightning cable. And in the finder that you have seen before, you'll go to under locations and you'll find your device that is plugged in and you're going to see the interface, which is almost identical to what you've seen before, likely with iTunes in the previous operating system. So that's pretty uh, good to know that it looks the same. This is where you'll be dragging and dropping your music into the music app that looks similar to the previous iTunes logos. What's important is that we go into the preferences in the music app and make sure that a couple of things are checked and done successfully. So the first thing is asking, where do you want the music to be copied to? And that's your own personal preference, uh, maybe to a hard drive that has a lot of storage if you have a lot of music, or just to the default music uh, location that every Mac has. So if we hit change here, there's quick access to be able to put it into your music uh, area, or if you wanted to put it to an external hard drive or a specific location in your um, hard drive, you'd be able to do that. For now, we'll just put it into the music uh, section of the operating system, uh, which is pretty straightforward. When you hit open, um, that's the path that's been selected. These two boxes, please check them. And I'll explain why uh, very uh, succinctly, which is um, iTunes, well now the Apple Music app, does a phenomenal job in regards to organizing your music, especially if you edit a song name or an album name later within the music app. It gets dynamically changed and organized behind the scenes um, and does all of that sorting for you um, and renaming with the file folder structure please check both of these things. And also the uh, second item, this basically says that these files will be put into this area and will actually create a second set of uh, files. And I'll show you that here in a second. We'll click OK. We'll go ahead and just drag and drop the entire folder because it's just MP3 files. We'll let go of it. It's already been copied into the um, app and we can actually see that if we want to verify that it's been copied into that location if we go to show and finder it'll actually show us the path that it is now in so let's go ahead and take a look that it's now in the music uh, area um, there is the um, the creator or the artist the soundtrack and all of the names of the files so that's good and we also have it here in the desktop, which we can easily delete here in a moment. So let's go ahead and now sync the uh, music with the iPad. Uh, now, once you have this uh, loaded up, you just need to do one more quick thing, which is to go into the music area right here. So we're focusing on music right now. And it's important to sync music onto the iPad. If you don't do that, nothing's going to move and copy over and to communicate between both devices. So we've selected everything. It even knows now that this is the artist that we're going to move over. We'll hit apply. We'll see now that it's syncing and it's talking. We can see the, uh, the, the little circle here filling up. And I'm actually going to show you a screenshot right now of the iPad with the music that's been copied over. Um, if you think that you ever need to get your collection of music out of the music app, maybe you have all of a sudden hundreds or thousands and you're wanting it just to be taken off your computer or moved somewhere else. Um, it's very easy. Uh, just to show you one extra thing, if you go to File, 
library. You can actually go to export library and it will take every single file that you've put in and put it into one folder of your choosing and you can manage it however you'd like to. That's a short summary of how to sync music with macOS Catalina. I'm happy to answer and to do my best with any questions you may have in the comment section. Thank you so much and we'll see you again.